<coughs> hey YouTube, it's your girl Spiritual Sage. So, okay, baby, this is what it is. I keep seeing the word visionary. Visionary, okay? You guys know it's someone who can envision the future. It's a person who, who's thinking about or planning the future with their imagination and wisdom. So I don't know if this is you or this is someone else, but someone's envisioning the future. So let's go in and see what is going on, okay? We're going to start out with the wisdom oracles. I'm sorry. No, we're not. We're going to start out with the sound advice oracles from Imani Gray, okay? If you guys are interested in this deck, her information is in the description box. Yeah, I just keep seeing it. The visionary. All right, spirit. Ancestors of the highest white light. What is the message? Please and thank you. What is the message for the collective? Okay. Learn about the situation. Learn about the situation. Okay, we're going to see how this plays into this visionary that I keep seeing. This could be you imagining something envisioning something or like i said it could be someone external to you <clears throat> let's go in and then we're gonna clarify everything all right so we got the fool and knight of cups right away so someone could be envisioning um making a love offer taking that leap of faith right probably oh yeah look at that at the bottom of the damn deck all right let's see then the two of wands that's all about making a decision to move forward spirit what is the message for the collective please and thank you All right, so the first card out. Wow. This is the first card out in the uh, message for yesterday. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is moving forward and or moving on, okay? What else, Spirit? And now the Fool pops out in reverse. The Fool pop. The, listen, the Fool in the upright is all about taking that leap of faith. Why is it popping out in reverse, Spirit? We're going to clarify everything. Let's see. What else we need to see, Spirit? <laughs> and that, ooh, child. Mm -mm. That came out in yesterday's message also. Judgment. Let's get a couple of more and then we're going to see what it do. Okay, Spirit, is there anything else? The hangman coming up in the upright. Someone sees things clearly. This is the visionary, okay? Yes. Someone could want equality, equal give and take, balance, justice. I'm picking up a lot with the six of pentacles. <clears throat> someone could need money. I just heard that someone could need money. That could be the reason that the fool is in the reverse. Let's clarify. The bottom of the deck, seven of swords. I do not like it. I don't, honey. That seven of swords, we're going to take it out because I know it got something to do with what's going on. Seven of swords is sneaky. It could be sneaky. It could be self-deception. Um, but with the devil out here, oh, it goes right here. Let's see what is going on. Okay, spirit. So before I even clarify, just to look at it, you know, the cards that we saw earlier, um, where the Knight of Cups and the Fool. Well, the Fool's out here, but it's in reverse. So someone with this hangman in the upright and the Six of Swords, <clears throat> someone could be envisioning a future, moving away from the chaos and conflict towards calmer waters. They could be thinking about doing this with someone. But maybe some toxic... I'm going to try to find out what this toxic stuff is, what the devil is. It just could be a Capricorn, okay? But I feel like it's more than that. I feel like... um money I'm, I'm getting it strong now money is stopping this person the six of pentacles somebody is like light bulb moment yes this is it this is what i want this is what i have been envisioning this is what i've been thinking about this person could also be planning so with that seven of swords they could be i'm gonna say it now somebody could be yeah i'm not gonna say stealing because it could be their own money that they stashing away but I feel like they're taking from something else. Let's, let's put it like that. This person's taking money from something else because they're the ones who are envisioning getting in that leap of faith. 
Okay? All right, Spirit. Now, let's clarify the devil. The devil is six of swords again. Four of pentacles. Hold it on. Stashing money. Stashing money, bruh. So why are they moving on from the devil? I said, let's clarify the devil. Six of swords popped out. Six of swords is moving on, moving forward. So someone could be, like I said, moving on from the devil, holding their money, holding their coins. This is the four of pentacles. Someone's saving. But but I, I feel like they're taking from another situation. So say this devil is a person, okay? A toxic person. Someone's taking money from that situation. And it could very well be a relationship. You see how the couple is here. All right, someone could be taking money. If this say this person's in a relationship with this person, they're taking money from this situation and holding on to like putting it up because they want to move on. Six of fours I hit twice. <clears throat> so that's what this seven of fours is. Someone and they constantly think about this. Whoever this is is very wise. I will say that. I don't know what, what, it, what it, okay, that's where it's coming from. King of Swords. This person's very intelligent. Um, they are stressed. This person is definitely stressed about walking away. Wow. But you know what they're saving to get toward? Two of Cups and what's after the Two of Cups? Nine of Cups. And then we have the World. And we have the 81, so I'm not going to continue, but I do feel like you guys are going to get communication. But someone's worried about walking away from the devil. And I really feel like it's because they don't feel like, one, they don't feel like they have enough money. This person could be feeling like they're going to run out of time. Let's see. Because right now I'm just guessing. Let's see, Spear. What is it? But they're clearly stressing about eight of cups. They're stressing about walking away from something. And it's the devil, whatever the devil is. There is some regret here, five of cups at the bottom of the deck. But like I said, this person, there could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, having in their chart somewhere. This person's planning to make this love offer to this two of cups. But the reason that this person has not gotten in this full energy, because they don't, they don't feel like they have enough money. I'm getting money strong. And they're saving. This person is planning. Okay, what else do we need to see, Sphere? Emperor, that's who it is. Wow. Say it ain't so, child. The Emperor. The Emperor's the one that's doing all of this, you guys. Okay? Man or woman, but it's an Emperor. A divine masculine. Who's stressed to the max. Oh, wow, baby. They could be going toward a Queen of Wands, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They view this person as their past life soulmate with the Six of Cups. Two of Cups out here. This is the person that they want to give this love offer to. Okay? Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Even if you're not an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person is very attracted to you. The Queen of Wands gets a hell of a lot of attention. Okay? I'm talking about for real. So there's a lot of uh, attraction, chemistry, a lot of love to Two of Cups, Knight of Cups. And like I said, with this hangman in the upright, because like this, someone's getting the enlightenment. Like this, they're coming out of it. They, they know what's up. So this person is envisioning moving forward. This card's out here twice. They want to move forward with you. And what I'm getting with this card is like, um, they want to be that emperor. You see how he's rowing the boat? He's taking control of the situation. It's like this person... Remember, we saw the Five of Cups under the deck. And what I'm getting is that someone wants to come in and kind of like, I can't say, I don't want to say repay you for whatever happened in the past. But it's I'm getting that I want to take care of you kind of feel, you know. Because she's, she's crunched over. And it could be cold as hell, but he gave her the cover. Her and, and the child got the cover. And he's rowing the boat, you see. And they're moving away from the chaos, conflict, drama, anything toxic. They're going towards calmer waters. Now, I I can't help but to see them little things that look like palm trees back there. Y'all could go on a, um, you could do some traveling with this person, okay? 
this they could be saving for if you guys are saving for a vacation this could simply be that but you see you you're taking somebody with you you're taking somebody with you okay but i really feel like this emperor is really wanting to um i want to see what that regret is and with this six of cups that's all about coming back around um this person could have been in your life before something happened okay something has happened to where this person feels that they have to be sneaky with the seven of swords and saving this money six of pentacles to come in and make this love offer not a cups two of cups okay so that's what they're doing they're holding back four of pentacles they're holding back money and that's why the seven of swords is out here but they're holding back from this devil okay spirit what else do we need to see what else can we get on this devil I'm really just viewing it just like that. Yeah, Eight of Swords, something that kept your person stuck. What's behind that? Ace of Pentacles. So your person could have invested. Mm, they invested in this uh, devil. And it got them stuck just like it is on the card. Look at the card. Look at the couple on the card. They bound by a chain. And well, that's what the Eight of Swords is, this feeling of being stuck. And I'm feeling like even though your person... Feels, they still feel stuck. Fool is in the reverse, okay? Um, I think before they were stuck because they didn't have the clarity. It's like now they get the clarity. They know that you're the one with the hangman in the uh, reverse. The thing that's keeping this person stuck now is not feeling or feeling like they don't have enough. And so the regret is that this person invested Ace of Pentacles in the devil, okay? Bottom of the deck, the damn devil again. Like, wow. So, mm, this person, they could have they could have used your person, played them. You see how he got him on a string right there? Kind of like a puppet. They could have uh, seduction, sex, because this person is sexy as hell if you ask me, baby. So, anyway, they could have used seduction, sex, to get your person to invest in them. Um, but it was just a situation that kept this person stuck for a while. But they're coming out of there with the hangman in the reverse. And we're talking about this emperor right here. Could be an Aries. It just could be a divine masculine. Okay, spirit. <clears throat> what else do we need to see? Okay, so now, absolutely. We see the will of fortune with the high priestess. Someone is definitely listening to their intuition. Someone feels as if this is a destined move. Move, two of cups, might of cups. It's destiny. And that's why they're, they're always envisioning it. And it's like, the way they see you, I, okay, don't take this the wrong way. But it's like, I don't know why this person just views you as like this damsel in distress. You ain't in no fucking distress. You can handle your own. But for this person, you know, air signs, they like to live in their head. And this, like I said, this emperor is the one that's envisioning this right here. Um, but he's viewing you as super saved like he coming in to save the day that's how he got it in his little head that's what he didn't you know envision in his little mind and that's why he is taking so damn i don't know why i said take i was thinking taking so long i do feel like it would be victorious and successful six of ones at the bottom of the deck um but he wants it to be right i'm getting real Virgo energy here. I don't even see Virgo out here, but this is someone who wants shit to be right, okay? And so they are definitely, because they have already invested. Remember, Ace of Pentacles, they invested in the devil over here. So, yes, they are taking from another situation. Seven of Swords, they're taking money. So they could live in the same house with this person and they get paid. And instead of putting all their money in that house, they putting some of it up for Pentacles. I was going to see how that other person feel about it. Spirit, how does the other person... Let me get a different deck. How does the devil feel? We're just going to call the karmic the devil. How does the devil feel about this situation? Do they know what's going on? How does the devil feel about this, Spirit? Please and thank you. Well, okay, what's this, what's this? Ooh, so 
Somebody pissed the fuck out. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, he's taking from her because the Queen of Pentacles in the upright is somebody who is nurtured. I feel like your person was taking care of this person. Up in the reverse, she's selfish. She's a, I'm getting narcissistic all day long. All day long. She also feels like she ain't going to be able to make it without your person. That's how she feels. Queen of, of Pentacles in the reverse. She feels like she's not going to be able to make it without your person. So that right there tells you it's going to cause some kind of issue. If this person feels like this emperor leaving, that, that they're not going to make it, she ain't just going to let him walk away just easy. And that could be the reason the Seven of Swords energy is up here. And, and yeah, remember I said they're stressing about walking away. They are stressed about it. And that is the reason why. This person is a little throwed off in the brain. They're a little crazy, you know, and, and they tell your person. That's how they keep your person stuck like that. They are really the damsel in distress, okay? You ain't no damn damsel. Because I saw, I saw the nine of pentacles when I was shuffling. I saw seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles. And that was saying the emperor wants to invest in you. You already invested in yourself. You already on your shit. This person... And the emperor was taking care of this person, providing for this person. They could even be married to this person with the queen of pentacles popping up. But um, she feels like if he leaves, she's not going to be able to make it. It's going to take money away from her. Because in the upright, she got that big ass coin in her lap. In the reverse, it's gone. So that's why he's like, uh, where? he know he's moving forward. That's the first card out, Six of Swords. This emperor know he moving on. He has already envisioned offering his cup of love to this two of cups situation right here. He views this as the will of fortune, as a destiny, as destiny, right? But he's stressing about leaving because he knows it's going to be some issues. And so what this is, is this person has not told, they ain't told him. And that's why the Seven of Swords is also out here. This person is sneaking, hiding money, and they have not told this devil that they want to leave. And so the King of Swords is out here. The King of Swords, they get the truth and clarity around the situation and they speak their truth. Okay. This is this is also telling me that um the Emperor is at odds with this person. They could be real snappy, just going off real short with them, real frank, real blunt, no emotion. Um that's how they could be treating this Queen of Pentacles. And so maybe this Queen of Pentacles knows some shit ain't right, but they haven't confirmed it. The Emperor has not told the Queen of Pentacles. He is stressed about what she going to do when he get ready to walk away because that's exactly what he going to do. He's walking away, okay? He's stashing money to make this move. Whew, fool is at the bottom of the deck in the upright. Cause like I said, the reason he has not, I said, Spirit, why is the fool coming up in reverse? That six of pentacles. He ain't got all the money. But he absolutely plans on leaving. He plans on leaving now. Fool with the six of swords out here twice. Six of swords is twice. And this is also a guided move. Spirit has been guiding this person to do this. Like I said, they're coming out of that hangman energy. Suspension energy. They know what it is. And so every day that they go to work, this person is like envisioning the life that you and this person will have together. And it makes them work that much more hard. What I don't want to see happen uh, is this person just get to the point where they like fucking and just leave. So I, I don't think that will happen with the King of Swords out here. But they are definitely doing a lot of stressing about this walking away. What do they think this devil's going to do, Spirit? What does this emperor think the devil going to do? Okay, so we have judgment, seven, wow, shit. <sighs> going to take it back from, try to take something from them. Put a judgment against them. Uh, maybe go to court or something. Seven of Swords is, is, is do, it's the same shit he doing. Some sneaky shit. Taking a, but in his case, he's saving up money, that, his own damn money. He the one working for it. But he's just doing it in silence, not telling her, right? I said, well, Spirit, what does he think the devil going to do? Judgment, seven of swords. Let's continue to clarify that. I know that judgment, is, it's got something to do with court. It's got something to do with court. Spirit, what is the judgment, seven of swords? Please and thank you. 
Yep, five of swords. That's jealousy, mind games, manipulation. She's going to try to hurt the fuck out your person. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. So, you see this right here? That's the devil watching you and this person walk off. She ain't going to be happy. And she's going to try to cause some fucking pain. She's going to tell a bunch of lies. She's going to be the person that's throwing the rocks, hiding behind the bushes. She's going to be doing a whole bunch of fuckery. And he knows this. He knows this. And that's why he's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. That could be the reason that this person is trying to move. They're, 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 look. Remember when I said I saw them palm trees? I said y'all could be traveling. This person. Okay. It's a third party. Clearly with the three of swords here. Right? Say everybody lives in the same city. He, move, he wants to move away from it. Completely move away from this karmic. So if y'all live in Atlanta, Georgia, he trying to go to Columbus, Georgia. He trying to get the hell on, okay? That's about a couple hours apart, I think. About two, three hours apart. Anyway, yeah, because he know that this person's going to constantly be doing some fuckery for her justice, right? And it's just to cause pain because she feels... Like, you taking the money. This came up probably about a month ago. I think it was about a month ago. I don't know. But, yeah, so this is his fear. And this could just be, you know, nine of swords can just be shit that you're putting in your head. It doesn't have to be true, okay? Um, but that's what he thinks. He thinks that she's going to cause pain through his swords. Five of swords, seven of swords. She might be an air sign, but that's a cold motherfucker with the judgment popping out on top of it. So he is worried. So he's being um, very strategic about what he's doing. Okay. Mm. All right. What is this? So now we have the star out here. Somebody could be an Aquarius, but I feel like this is the hope. Somebody's holding on to hope in this situation. I don't feel like you guys are communicating. I did see the eight of wands. So I feel like you will get communication. But right now, I don't feel like you guys are in communication. Okay? And I just really feel like someone's holding on to hope as they do this fuckery. As they stash away money. Okay? She could be very controlling. You see how she looking at that coin in the upright? Controlling where it go, who spend it, who touch it. Actually, it's in her lap. It's almost as if he go to work and get her the coin. Well, coming up in reverse, she won't have that anymore, okay? Mm. So, Spirit, do they have any kids? Seven of Pentacles. It's just the card of investment, so they could very well have a family. Take it as it resonates, okay? They could have a family, but they did. They invested in this person. I said that with the Ace of Pentacles. But they invested in the wrong damn thing. Something that kept them stuck for a while. I keep seeing that magician at the bottom of the deck. This person is absolutely manifesting um, a new beginning with you. They're, even though they're not even telling you. Like I said, somebody's holding on to hope. They're stashing away money and envisioning have, making this love offer to the two of cups. Okay, spirit. Is there anything else? Devil popped out again. Hierophant, this person, they're, yes, they're in communication, not communication, they're in commitment with the devil. And it popped out on top of the seven of pentacles. Like I already said, they invested in the devil. Devil Hierophant. They're in relationship with the devil. Okay, and so now you have the tower, two of pentacles, ace of wands. This person knows something has to be blown the fuck up in order for them to get this brand new passion at beginning. And it's almost like, I'm going to clarify this two of pentacles. Let's do that. Let's just go on and clarify it. But they know it has to. It Because it, it, it ain't no easy way. You don't walk away from the devil easy. There's no easy way to leave the devil. And the devil's out here twi uh, three times. Three times. Damn. Yes, y'all. The devil's out here three times. Okay. This person could be dealing with that Capricorn, but that's not what this is. Devil, devil, devil. It's a, a karmic, a karmic situation, okay, that kept this person stuck. It's the thing that they invested in. 
and it really could be a wife and or baby mama. But with the tower, it could be, um, they could be, do we really have to move? Because the tower could be a move for a brand new beginning. Juggling, will we have to move or can we still stay in the same, in the same city and have a brand new beginning? Somebody's juggling this. this uh, collected, this could be you. You know, you could be like, well, why do I have to move? I have friends and family. My job is here. I don't know if I want to do this. So when that eight of wands come in, this could be your energy. Because like I said, your person wants to move. Six is fours. Because of this fuckery that the karmic is going to try to do. So when they come in and communicate, because I really feel like you're going to get communication. I just, just period. Okay? Damn, my phone about to die. Hold on, y'all. So anyway, you could be like, I don't I don't know if I want to do this. Yeah, I, I do want this brand new beginning, but I don't know if I'm just ready to uproot my family, my kids, and everything I got for this brand new uh, beginning with the Ace of Wands. So, yes, I do. I feel like that is your energy collective, okay? What else, Spirit? Mm -hmm. But Spirit says the move would be victorious. That's the second time we saw the Six of Wands, okay? Because it's at the bottom of this deck also, Six of Wands. You guys could be public figures. I'm just throwing it out there because that Six of Wands, you see these lights on them? But with the two of ones behind that, Spirit says, if you choose to move forward, it will be a successful move. Okay? Ooh, four of ones at the bottom of the deck. It's, there will be a lot of stability there as well. Okay? Anything else we need to see, Spirit? Bam! Look at that. <laughs> Baby. I really feel like this reading goes with the reading that, was yes that I had yesterday with the sun. Okay? Damn, do I even remember what the reading was yesterday? Oh, yeah. Yesterday I said, see, yesterday it was the Queen of Swords right next to the devil. Cut not what no longer serves you. Now it's the King of Swords with the devil. Same shit. And I, t but today I'm getting that. So this person is already, because see, yesterday I was trying to figure out where you guys were in the timeline. Well, today I'm seeing that visionary. This person has already gotten the clarity. They're already planning. They're planning and plotting. Uh, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. They stashing away money. That's the, the reason that they haven't moved. And they don't know if you will want to do this. Thank you, Spirit. They don't know if you're going to want to move. Because this is what they want to do. They want to move. Okay? I'm talking about pick up your shit and move. Look at you, baby. Emperor Empress. Okay? Yep. King, some of them are married to this person. King and Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Okay? But yes, yeah, some of them are married to that devil. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't that a bitch? And that could be the reason that Five of Cups is at the bottom of the day. Either way, whether they married to him or not, they regret investing in that. But your person, listen, it's all on how you look at it. Don't regret it. Look at it as a lesson learned. It's a lesson learned. That's all it is, you know? So anyway, they're very attracted to you. They have a lot of love for you. There's a deep soul connection here. Six of cups, two of cups, will of fortune. Someone's listening to their intuition. They could also be viewing you as the high priestess. Very intuitive. Um, this person could know that you get messages from spirit. I don't know. I'm just getting that. So anyway, I feel like no matter what the damn... Uh, I was just going to say that. I was going to say no matter what the devil do, because I'm sitting over here looking at this three of swords, it don't matter what she do, you can't stop this will of fortune. Somebody has made up their mind that they're going to balance this destined decision. Look how they're balancing that. So, it, she cannot block this forward movement. Okay? Because like I said, this person's going to, it's up to you. I feel like, uh, Empress, you're going to have a decision to make when this person comes back. And that decision is to disrupt yourself from where you are currently, okay? But Spirit says with the sun and the six of wands, this would be a really good move. It really would be, uh, you know, victorious. Because this damn queen of swords or whoever she is, the devil, is going to try to fuck with y'all. And your person's clearly worried about that. Uh, nine of swords, eight of cups, they're worried about that when they walk away. What the hell is she going to try to do? And she is going to try to hurt somebody. Uh, she's going to try to cause pain wherever she can. She's going to tell a lot of lies. 
She's going to get a bunch of shit started. She's going to be very jealous with the uh, Five of Swords. And it's just, she will receive karma for it with the judgment out here. But that's what she's going to be doing. So your person is just like, we just need to move. Let's just move. Okay? And that's what I see on this Six of Swords. This person trying to get the hell away from that damn karmic. You, y'all could blend families. Y'all could have a child together because there's a little kid on the boat. But it's like he want to come in and take y'all away from this, this drama and go somewhere brand new where the water is calm, peaceful. I was getting at the beginning of the song. I mean, I said the beginning of the song. At the beginning of the reading before I hit the record, but in this song by Jeremiah, I think it's called Ooh, Ow, O U I, or something like that. If we tried that, we could be somewhere in the climate. It's warm as long as you are around me. I swear that everything would be just fine. Some shit like that, okay? That's what I was getting before I even hit the record button. So this person definitely wants to move away from wherever y'all currently live. If you guys live in the same the uh, same city as the damn karmic, they won't get the hell on. And they, so you are going to have to make a decision, um, Empress, okay? Will they come in and communicate spirit? Well, yeah, Six of Cups is all about coming back. But let's see. Yep, look at that, Eight of Wands. Exactly. That's communication. Okay, and who? Look at the bottom of the deck. Emperor again. So the Emperor is definitely going to come in and communicate. And so that Tower, Ace of Wands, is going to be the Empress needing to make a decision whether they want to take the leap of faith with this person. Okay. Y'all could be dealing with a Leo, but you see, you guys have unconditional love for one another. I feel like you're the only person that can truly tame the beast in that person. There's that unconditional love, that infinity sign right there. So, yeah, go on and be thinking about it, Empress, because like I said, you're going to get communication about a move. And you're going to have to decide whether you want to have this brand new beginning or not. This spirit is already telling you it's going to be victorious. It's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a good move. All right? And I have my divine counterparts right here to go along with my two of cups. Emperor, Empress, six of cups, two of cups. I have the sun. I have the star. It's, it's beautiful. Okay? So this is the person that's doing all the envisioning. All right? I just wanted to clear it up. Let's get some surrender cards for y'all. If I get a call, I don't want nobody to hear me. I don't want nobody to know I'm on my way. You see, what the hell I'm going to buy down? Why is all them cars in there? They don't belong. So somebody's watching you. Somebody's watching you and Spirit is telling you to just stand your position. Because these cars don't belong in this day. Okay? Stand your position. And yes, this person is watching you as they're envisioning you guys being together. Okay? So... Let's get some surrender card. Spirit women need to be surrendered. So, yeah, surrender your attachment to results. Um, the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage you. Um, I don't know if this is you or the person. Since the person's the one doing all of the envisioning, it could be them because they're the ones that, that, you know, are clearly stressing about it. They're the ones clearly stressing. So, because for some of them, they do not think that you're going to take their offer to move. This is totally disruption. Having to pull your kids out of school. I don't know about where you guys are. We're online, so it wouldn't matter for me, you know, when you do everything online. But I know some schools have like a little integrated system. A couple of days they do online, a couple of days they go to actual school. So if you have children, you got to think about that. You got to quit your job, find another job, put, take your kids out of school, leave your family and friends. And so this person, they're like, I don't, you know, they feel like this is the only way it's going to be successful because of all the fuckery that the, the karmic is going to try to do if you guys stay in that current city. 
So they're stressed that you're not going to want um, to make this move, okay? And so Spirit is telling this person to surrender their uh, attachments to results. They're already manifesting. I saw the magician twice. The formula for success is to do all that you can to make things happen. And that's what they're doing, okay? Whether it's sneaky or not. They envisioning it, and y'all know that's how you manifest. You, you think about the things, you write it out, you speak it out. But then you have to let go of the results in order for the Most High God to work with it and bring it back around, okay? So, Spirit's telling this person, stop stressing so that, that it can come full circle. So that it can come full circle, okay? But they manifesting their ass off. They put they going to work every day, putting that money up. Um, like I said, as while this person's at work, they're envisioning what they want to do with this money. That's part of manifesting. It, it's going to come true with the six of wands and the sun. Your person may not even know, but they manifesting their ass off. They're making this shit happen. They're watching you, they're putting thoughts into the universe. Those thoughts, um, they have their vibrations. They send vibrations to the universe. And whatever you put out is what comes back. And so we saw that observer. This person's watching hell out your ass. They thinking about um, this beautiful brand new life with you with the Six of Swords. So that's um, envisioning it. And then they're actually doing as they're saving this money, Six of Pentacles. So they are really manifesting. And that's why Spirit says, okay, Six of Wands with the Sun. Some of y'all might move somewhere where it's warm. I don't know. I'm just picking that up. I saw the palm trees early. And now I'm seeing the sun. So y'all could move somewhere in the south or somewhere where it's good weather. Okay. So anyway, I feel like that surrender your attachments is for your person. Because they are clearly the ones who are stressing about this. Oh, child. Let's get some of these purple cords. I don't know the name of but let's get a couple and see what spirit has to say. What is the message, spirit? Okay. Unknown territory. <laughs> okay. Somebody's in unknown territory, but spirit says that you are exactly where you need to be. I really feel like you guys will make this move. And as I say that, I said, y'all yeah, going to go somewhere warm with this car cold as hell. So all it's saying is you're going to go somewhere brand new, unknown. But Spirit says with the sun and the six of wands down here, that that unknown territory is you're right where you're supposed to be. This is going to be a victorious move. It's going to be successful. Okay? So, yeah, y'all are going to move somewhere brand new. Whether it's cold, hot, or whatever the fuck, it's somewhere brand new because this person knows they have to get away from this Queen of Pentacles devil. She out here three times showing up as the devil. They're going to have to get away in order for you guys to have a Fresh, brand new beginning with that Ace of Wands. Okay? So, Empress, be thinking about that. Because that's the communication that you're going to get coming in. You're going to get a love offer with the Knight of Cups, Two of Cups. Um, and this person asking you to move with them. Okay? So, you go and be thinking about it. Go on because they are really envisioning it. I mean, oh, wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. Wouldn't you love to be on a beach with your person? Watching the sun, man, I don't know why, but that is just so beautiful to me. Peace and quiet. So go on and be thinking about it, okay? Go ahead and answer it. Are you going to be willing to, to leave your job for this person? Are you going to be willing to make... Some of y'all ain't... Some of y'all going to be like, I don't know about all that. You want me to move? What? And it could be... Okay, thank you, Spirit. Y'all can go ahead and click off if you want to, but what I'm finishing to do is ask Spirit why you sitting up here trying to figure it out. I have my own reasons in my head, but I like when Spirit tells us what's going on. So I'm going to ask Spirit why you sitting here trying to figure out if you want to move or not. What's really going on? So yeah, for those of you who don't want to see that and you know what you got going on, Y'all can go ahead and click off, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. We might do a live just to, you know, answer some questions and whatnot. But for those of you who like to hear my little crackety voice, we're going to go in and see what may be um, bothering y'all. What's got you like, I don't know. 
don't know if I want to go nowhere with your ass, because I don't trust your ass. It could be that. You could not trust this person. Let's see. Spirit. All right, so that's exactly what we're clarifying, the Two of Pentacles Tower, because that's making a decision to move, to disrupt. So, let's see. Spirit, spirit. I see that Ace of Pentacles 4-1. Most of y'all going to do it, but some of y'all going to be scared to do it. I'm like, what the hell are y'all now, eh? It's going to cause an argument between y'all two. Yep. It's going to cause an ending for some of you. I'm just what I'm trying to see. Because some of y'all going to balance that shit right on out. Temperance. All right, so What is the reason that um, the Empress will be in the Two of Pentacle Energy? Please and thank you. Why is the Empress in the Two of Pentacle Energy about this move? And then flip over. Okay. All right, so now we have the world, the two of swords, king of swords, and judgment. Some of you guys don't trust this person to have really truly closed out the cycle. You don't. What else, dear? But this is truth. This King of Swords is telling the truth. Whatever they come in, you might not like how they tell you because they ain't got a whole bunch of emotion behind it, but they're telling you that they have closed out this cycle of judgment in the world. It's done. But some of y'all don't y'all don't believe that. Like, I don't believe that shit. The fuck? You know. And you want me to sit up here and quit my damn job? You want me to depend on your monkey ass? To take care of me? What? Until I find another job? Uh-uh. What, what if you get to acting a fool and tell me to get out? Uh, I'm not putting my life in your hands. The last time I put my life in your hands, you just dip. <laughs> Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Mm. Spirit. What else is it besides the distrust? It's, that's, that's what it is. There's a lot of fear and distrust, you could feel like, I feel like this moon is just fear. You could think that there are some secrets, but I really feel like it's fear. Because remember, we saw the Eight of Swords. I feel like love conquers all. That's how I feel. Spirit. What else? But yes, this person's about to ask you, for some of y'all that just moved, just relocated, just got a new job, this person's about to ask you to give all of that up. And come and move with them. So I understand this two of pinnacle energy. Go like, what? What? They, they, they understand it too. But they are telling you the truth. They have definitely ended something judgment world. Nine of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Okay, with the sun. So some of you guys feel like that they're going to... Um, but we have the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you do not trust this person. There's fear. Some of y'all think they still going to be in and out. Some of you guys feel like they're going to um, be given to you in another situation. But once again, Spirit says that this is a good move. The sun card is the best card in tarot. Happiness and abundance. Remember, we saw the wheel of fortune. This is destiny. But there is going to be some fear. But let me tell y'all, fear is only, it's, it's just low vibration. That's all it is. You have to think from your higher self. Think from your heart. Think from your heart. I can't tell y'all what to do, but Spirit done told you three times that this is a good move. It would be a good move. You know, and so with the Page of Cups, Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles again, Three of Wands. It's going to be hard for you guys to make this decision. Some of y'all are going to be really, the, the things you're going to be choosing from is ending it or not. Complete 44-44 on the phone. Completely ending it, turning your back on it, and waiting on your ships to come in. I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different for all of y'all. But y'all, 
Y'all gonna be like, man, especially if this person took a long ass time, because we did see the Seven of Pentacles. But I did not see the Knight of Pentacles, and I'm so glad. I don't think I saw the Knight of Pentacles yesterday either. That's good, because that's old slow ass moving night. See, we did see the Knight of Wands out here. Um, so this is gonna, this person's gonna want to get on this shit fast. And some of y'all are going to be like, ho, 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 wait a fucking minute. Wait a minute. Now you want me to quit my job? Where we going? You you, you don't even know where we going. You ain't never even been there before. You just want to go? What? I don't know, honey. What else, dear? It's going to, oh, wow. Empress, you're going to have a decision to make. You really are. Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles. It's going to be heavy. And it's all about that house. It's all about moving. See that house back there? You're going to have to make this decision. Mm -mm -mm. But I feel like if you don't, you're going to be mad at yourself if you don't go with this person. Because there's a lot. Of, there's deep soul connection there. Two of Cups, Emperor, Empress, with the Wheel of Fortune. It's, it was meant to be. So, I mean, if you don't go, you're going to be walking with this burden for the rest of the however long, okay? Excuse me. So, you're going to have to, and that's why the Six of Swords was showing up. That's why I was picking it up like that. I said, damsel in distress. It's not, that's not what they're thinking. But what they're saying is you, you pretty much are going to be putting all of your trust in this person. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because like I, for a few of you guys, you just moved. You just relocated. You just got a new job. Some of y'all just got promotions. You know, and you're finna move with this person that you haven't been in communication with for a while. And they're sitting here telling you how they have whirled into the cycle. Judgment is completely over. They're sitting here telling you this with the King of Swords. Apologizing about all the bullshit with the Page of Cups. And you're sitting here thinking that this person still has secrets with the moon. There's some fear there. You could be thinking that they're still feeding that other situation. You could think that there's still player energy in it with the Knight of Wands. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot. And so there's this Ten of Wands right here. Mm. But they really want to be this for you, King of Pentacles. And I saw the Four of Wands person. This will end in marriage if you allow it. It will definitely end in marriage. But the king, the energy of the king of pentacles is someone who's very dependable. This person shows up. This person is very loyal. Remember when I said I was getting that Virgo energy? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This person wants it done right. And when the king of pentacles show up, they show up. And so I really feel like that's why spirit keeps showing you the sun and six of wands. Spirit's like, hey, Empress, this is going to be a good move. You know, you're finally going to feel with this person. I don't know who this is in y'all like What well, it said, Emperor. This person is going to try to make sure that you are completely happy and that you feel secure because they know what they've done. They know what they've done. Um, I guess I'm just getting it now. I'm getting it. Um, and so Spirit is saying you're going to feel, you're going to be so happy. Look at that baby. Just free to be, feel like a little child again. Okay. This is how you're going to feel if you were to choose to move forward. And I feel like if you choose to stay, this is how you're going to feel. You're going to feel like this, uh, Empress, okay? Because this is something that you have waited for. With that three of one showing up, this is something that you've waited for. You both feel like this is destiny. We saw the high priestess, okay? You both know that you guys belong together. But this uh, King of Pentacles Emperor also knows that in order for, for this to be successful, y'all have to move. Okay? And so I feel like, why not? To, to give you guys a, a fair chance at having a fresh start. Let's just go somewhere brand new and start all over. Right? I, I mean, that's how I look at it. Because some of y'all, y'all going to be like, I don't know, man. Yeah, wow, there's a lot of fucking fear here. Um, Empress, you're going to be stuck again. Remember, you were the one. I said, because at the beginning, I said, this person's about to go make love off to a queen of one. Well, there you go again. You're the one that's going to be stuck trying to make the decision 
as to do I move with this person or not. That's what I see. Because I'm, I'm telling you now. Y'all know I just moved in this house like two months ago. If my DM came to me and asked me to move, like if, if this was my story, I ain't going to front. I would be like, uh, bro, you can move in here. <laughs> I'd be like, you can move in here, but um, I, don't, I just don't know. You know, I don't know. And so, but this ain't my story. So, Empress, you, you, you got some thinking to do. And that's why the story's coming out. Because it's going to be a heavy burden, I feel, if you don't do it. I mean, Spirit is saying this is the, the, the outcomes. If you go, happiness and abundance. And if you don't, you're going to carry that burden of... What if, what if? Because you're never going to meet another emperor. You know that, right? Um, and this emperor knows for this to be successful, you're going to have to come up out of wherever you at, whatever you got going on. Mm. And I feel like you've done a lot of work on yourself. You're showing up as the empress. Some of y'all have recently just moved. Some of y'all just got these promotions, just started your businesses. It's going to be a lot to think about. But uh, go in it with your confidence. You're very confident anyway, Queen of Wands, Empress, okay? Just go in it confident. But remember to manifest from a heart space. I, I really feel that strongly. MJ always says, when you're making a decision, you need to ask yourself, is this loving to myself? You know, and if the answer is yes, if you say saying spirit is moving with my DM, is this loving to myself? That's going to be the answer right there. And if the answer is yes, then just go for it. Take that leap of faith. Get like that little baby and just let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me, I don't know where the hell that came from. So anyway, you got a lot to think about. We got a lot to think about. So that is what I get for you guys. This is what this person want. They want to move away. With you, the family, whatever family y'all blending, or whatever kids y'all have together, they want to move away from this karmic. And it, it's almost like they want to move away from everybody. Because I feel like there's going to be other people that come up against you guys. You know, with the choppy waters right here, it's going to be others to want to come up that don't want to see y'all together. Because there's going to be a lot of jealousy. We saw the Five of Swords twice. There's going to be jealousy from the karmics. From uh, so-called friends and family members. So you, that emperor's just going to be like, fuck it. Let's just completely move somewhere new where it's just us. And, you know, any friends that we meet, they'll all be mutual friends, you know, that we meet together. So it's just starting brand new, learning something new. Page of Pentacles, okay? Whew. That's it, y'all. Shit. Oh, damn. Talking. So anyway, that's what I have for you. I wish you guys the best. I really do. I feel like you deserve to move. I would just go. Just go. I would. Just go and try. You only live once in this reality. If spirit telling you it's going to be a good outcome, why, why not? Okay. That's what I have for y'all. It should be spirit. Ooh. Spirit say you're going to regret it if you don't. Five of Cups. And y'all saw how that fell out there like that. I'm getting ready to shuffle my deck. And it slid out there like that. I said, Spirit tell you it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And this slid out. If you don't go, you're going to regret it. Five of Cups. That's deep. You're going to always be looking. Because you're not going to never find that emperor no more. And I know some of y'all seen him like, nah, fuck that. He took so long. Blah, 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 blah. But Spirit is saying that this is destiny. Will of Fortune. It's destiny. And, you know, <laughs> baby, you're going to regret it if you don't go. And I hate to be trying to tell y'all what to do. But it's just the truth. You need to look at things from a different perspective and let go of the fear. Let go of the fear. This is your, this is what you have waited for. Spirit says, yes, it's going to be unknown territory. But you right where you're supposed to be because this is your destined partner. You know, this is this is the life partner. This is the person that you're supposed to be with. So don't block it. 
okay? Don't block it. Ooh, child. I love y'all. Till next time. Bye.